the parliamentarium is visited by mostly young people. We have seen so far 170,000 visitors. We opened in October 2011 and almost 50% of the visitors come um, in groups and they are below 25 years old. This part of the exhibition is called United in Diversity because uh, the motto of the European Union wants to show that citizens are united but also you have a lot of differences. And we have chosen this uh, sky of opinion to show the differences, to show the opinions and the different values and attitudes taken by the citizens in the member states. And with the different shades in the lightning show really the differences in the approach. But on the other hand, on the floor, you have another European map which shows projects that unite the European inhabitants. And this room here is called United in Diversity. In a three-dimensional European map, you see uh, the values and the opinions of the European citizens as they have been uh, studied and analyzed by the European Value Study and Eurobarometer. The data that you see in the sky of opinion, the 3D light installation, is based on the analysis of opinions and values from the European Value Study from the University of Tilburg and Eurobarometer. The uh, statements that you see in the sky of opinions from the European Value Study cover the areas of food safety, of foreign affairs, of protection of environment and social affairs and employment. Uh, the, the European Values Atlas is extremely important. The European Values Atlas is extremely important for students of secondary schools in the Netherlands, at least, because it gives them the opportunity to study, really study the data, and uh, perform their own research within the data of the atlas. Students in the Netherlands, uh, in secondary schools, ha have to do a lot of research at school. Uh, a lot of them perform surveys and they really don't know how to do it. And at the European Value Study Center here in Tilburg, they can teach you how to do it and teach these students, which is magnificent. Like. If you want to have a uh, fair opinion about Europe and if you want to have a good vision on Europe, it's necessary to know its history, uh, the actual situation today, and the possibilities for the future. Uh, we can be a very strong continent and it's important to develop that for the position of Europe in the future in the world, but also for the life of our citizens on this continent itself. And I think that uh, we are underestimating the effects of our actual opinions for that future. If you're talking about the amount of money we need for the European value studies, you have to separate between two aspects. First of all, there is the survey in the more than 40 countries. That survey is paid for by the countries itself. But then there is the activity of our university with a few partners who are actually coordinating and integrating the whole process and, and running it, you could say. The amount of money required for that is between three and four million, and that is a lot of money for uh, a university to uh, contribute. So it's very important to keep collecting that information for the future. It means that um, we have to be able to do those studies in more than 40 countries as we do it now, continue doing it in kind of the same way so we can compare information. And uh, it's impossible for just the university to do that. So it's very important that we are able to organize the necessary funding to continue this project. In the Atlas of European Values, we bring together a rich collection of data of uh, the last wave and the previous waves. And uh, these results are interesting for politicians, policy makers, journalists, but also for companies and investors, because they show how the cultural and social climate in countries are. 
One of the questions we ask in the European Value Study concerns work and the importance of work. So we ask people whether they think it's a duty to society to work. And surprisingly, we find that in Turkey, uh, the work ethos is the highest in Europe, and in countries such as Poland, it is rather low. The European Value Study collects and analyzes data about the values and preferences of Europeans. It focuses on values about the family, children, work, politics, religion, sexuality and many other fields. We started in 1980, so now we have over 30 years of data uh, collected, which makes it possible to see the developments in values. We think it is very important and necessary to continue our project and our data collection because so much is happening in Europe now with the economic turbulence we are having all over Europe. We often think that we are very different than people from other countries in Europe, but our data show that we have much more in common than we think. We share our data with social scientists all over Europe and the world, but our data are also used by journalists, by politicians, and they are also used at schools for educational purposes. Uh, for me, as an economist, working in Europe, advising in Europe, uh, the European Value Studies project is extremely important to understand the differences between the European citizens in various countries. And why is that so important? Because then we understand why there are such different uh, perspectives in the northern European countries and the southern European countries. And we need to know more about what drives the European citizens. The data of the European Value Study are published in maps on the website www.atlasofeuropeanvalues.eu and what we do is offer the map, map tools, educational materials like strategies, assignments and video fragments of young people answering the questions of the European values and the final aim is just to encourage discussion about values of Europeans. The results of the European Values Study are published on a website www.atlasofeuropeanvalues.eu and there you can find the results in maps, you can find teaching strategies, assignments, lesson plans and video fragments of young people answering some questions of the European Values Study. The final aim of all is just to encourage discussion in classroom about the values of Europeans. One map which struck me very much was about the tolerance towards homosexuality because when you compare the different maps from time you can see the tolerance is very much increasing and I think that's a very good thing and it's very valuable to show that in education that values are not stable but values are changing.